Welcome back here, aviation fans. We are going to talk about drag today. We have two kinds of drag. We have induced and parasite. If you watch the video on adverse yaw, we already talked about induced drag a little bit. Essentially, induced drag is drag that we induce by creating lift. When we accelerate, the wing creates lift, induced drag is created. If we have a elevator side view here, okay, this is our elevator, and we alter the elevator, we create more lift, drag is in, induced drag is created. Now, it's important to understand that induced drag is inversely proportional to the square of the speed. What does that mean, all right? There's a lot of mumbo jumbo. Let's graph it. This is going to be drag speed. So the faster we go, the less drag we create. And it only makes sense, right? Because the faster we go, the more level, I guess, we're going to be. Our elevator is more level. Our uh, wings, this is a side view of our wing. And our ailerons aren't pointed down um, or, or pointed up either. Um, so all else equal, the faster we go, the less drag we create or induce drag. Now, let's talk about parasite drag. Let's scroll down a little bit here. Three kinds of parasite drag, and let's talk about one at a time. First is going to be form drag. This is real simple. This shape is more aerodynamic than this shape. This shape, if the wind is coming this way, or the relative wind or air or whatever, is more aerodynamic than this shape and this shape, right? So form drag is simply the, the shape, right? It's really simple. It's not anything harder than that. Next one is interference drag. Interference drag is simply the drag created when two surfaces meet. We have a vertical surface and a horizontal surface. Each of those creates their own drag, and together they create a form of drag. So anywhere you have maybe, uh, think of the wing meeting the fuselage, meeting the struts, the landing gear, all of this is going to create interference drag because, oh, we need a rudder pedal or a rudder and the propeller. So all these surfaces where they meet is creating interference drag. They each have their own form and together where they join, they create interference drag. Last one, skin friction. If you think about it, and imagine this is a microscopic view of our wing, all right? A rough surface is gonna create more drag than a smooth surface. If we have a wing where it's uh, metal and there's a rivet, and then metal and a rivet, and a metal and a rivet, metal and you get the idea, that's all skin friction drag. The air is going to be disturbed as it Oops, as it goes over each um, certain different type of surface. So if you look at the air racers, um, they have very low skin friction. So these three, form, interference, skin friction, make up parasite drag. All three, add them together. So total drag, is combination of induced and parasite. 
Um, and we can graph that also. Now, we can graph just parasite drag, which we should do first, and it is going to be the exact opposite of induced drag. So at low speed, it's low drag. And then as we increase our speed, our drag increases. So parasite drag increases with the square of the speed. And induced drag is the inverse square of our speed. Okay? Now to plot, to find the average for these two, um, we can do that. And we're not going to do it mathematically, of course, because that's a lot of math and we're just pilots, right? But it would look something like this. This would be the total drag. And this is a little bit confusing here, but this point right down here at the very bottom of this curve is, even though it's the minimum, it is called minimum drag or, pull this out over here, LD, this is where it's confusing, max. Lift over drag. This is the point where we have our maximum speed and our minimum drag. Very important for airplane performance, especially if you think about engine out procedures. Any faster and our drag is going to increase. Any slower and our drag increases. So we want to know this speed and this speed alone in the event of an engine failure. Okay, LD max. Even though it's the minimum, it's the maximum lift over drag ratio. Hope that helps. A little bit about drag, not a hard concept, just a little technical at times. Any questions, leave some comments below. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, please. Really appreciate your contributions.